Though academics is our main tent, and everyone knows that, athletics plays such an integral role in Detroit Country Day School and the educating of the whole child that our founder, F. Alden Shaw, nearly a hundred years ago, required athletics into the school program. So educational athletics, uh, not only is a requirement of the school, it complements you know, the arts, academics, and it's through athletics that we are able to teach many of the values that are so important to being able to raise the next generation of, of future leaders you know, for our community and also our society. The motto of the Detroit Country Day School, which is also embodied by the athletic program, is a sound mind and a sound body. Athletics at Country Day really helps build uh, character in student athletes by placing them in situations where they have to deal with pressure and they have to deal with adversity. And uh, when you're out on a playing, playing field or playing court, uh, it's a very public uh, area. And so you, there's nothing, you can't hide anywhere. You have to see what's uh, going on and you have to react to it. And, and hopefully we uh, instill in the students the ability to handle themselves under those kind of pressure situations. Well, I think athletics in general builds character. It's, um, it, it's, it's a place where a coach can see more than any other you know, person can see the true characters, the true things that come out in an individual. I think the interesting part about Country Day is um, when you add on uh, not only the athletics but the academics to it all uh, and you're really trying to see you know, all these things come out you know, through everything. So it's a pretty neat experience here at Country Day just because there's so many other things tied in with, with athletics. Um, you, you know, and all the different things that go along with, with trying to become a leader. I think they reinforce the lessons that we're teaching in the classroom. And I think that's the biggest thing, that it's a connection between the morals that we're teaching here and then we transfer them out into the field. So hard work, um, personal responsibility, respect, and making those connections. Um, and the athletic field, there's an immediate consequence for your actions. So how you react to a ref's call your character is going to be called into question immediately. So making those connections in a tangible way. And I think the character of who you are in those high pressure situations. So when you're on the field and, and you can't control what you're doing and it's just your immediate response and what is that reaction and how that reflects who you are as a person. It helps them to learn a sense of discipline. And I believe discipline in this way, sometimes it's thought of as a negative term. I think it's really a positive in the sense that it's teaching them to do what they need to do in the appropriate time uh, frame. Um, you know, they, they, they learn what needs to be done. It's basically teaching them what, what to do, learning to do the right thing at the right time. Well, there's no question that character building is essential to the development of the whole child at Detroit Country Day School. And, you know, athletics is, is uh, integral to being able to develop you know, the work ethic in our students, uh, teamwork, sportsmanship, you know, competition, cooperation, and we see that at all levels of the school, from the very youngest where we instill those values, you know, to those who ultimately are making the next step on to college as they you know, are graduating seniors. I believe the Country Day student uh, athletes are the best prepared and they're prepared not only for their athletic careers, if that happens, but also lifelong uh, careers. So through athletics, um, our preparation at school, I, I believe is among the best in the country. And when a student graduates from Country Day, um, they are not only prepared to be a positive team member, but also a positive person in life. I think the biggest lessons that you learn in athletics that can take you farther in life are um, about hard work and working with others. And you're going to be put in situations where people have different strengths, um, where your weaknesses are exposed, and how can you work with people and bring people together um, in a meaningful way and inspire people to do their best. And when you're on the athletic field, I think you're really challenged to do that. The experience through athletics, in my mind, is something that's unique. It's basically what I like to describe it as individual commitment to group success. Uh, and, and that's what we try to achieve every time we get out there on the field. And, um, and that's an interesting concept because you're only as good as your team's going to be. 
uh, but you have to you know, do the things individually to make yourself better, but not only the team better. So you're really trying to learn you know, what, that, what that really means, individual, you know, success, or individual commitment to group success. And once you've learned that and what that really means to you, um, I think that you're going to learn lessons that not only will help you in college, uh, in your career, but more importantly, life lessons that you can carry with you, you know, hopefully for the rest of your life. Well, perseverance for sure is the number one lesson that I think um, helps them in any kind of endeavor that they, they undertake after high school, be it college, be it a job. They, they need to be able to understand themselves and understand how to, how to get better at what they're doing and listen to other people. So um, you have to be self-reflective, you have to understand how to work together and, and these lessons lead to um, success in many different things, classes and, and the workplace. To be successful in the world today, you really have to have uh, a pursuit of excellence. Uh, the world is so competitive that if, if you don't uh, know how to compete, if you don't know how to take it to the next level, so to speak, you're going to have a hard time uh, being real successful. And so at, at Country Day, uh, so much of what we try to do uh, focuses on the pursuit of excellence, to be the very best that you can be individually and to be the very best that you can be collectively. You know, when you first get involved with athletics, you're not quite sure that you're going to be able to do what's asked of you. And so there's some anxiety and anxiousness. And what you learn through your participation is that you can do it. It's more or less kind of a breakthrough for kids. And I think that's something that you can take with you throughout life. If you're able to stay in there and persevere, you kind of get to a situation where you know what you're doing. And then, you know, hopefully it, it evolves into mastery. Like you really get good and professional in knowing what you're doing. I like my athletes um, to value honesty. Honesty with themselves, honesty with their, their fellow athletes, and honesty with me. And so when they are honest with themselves, they know what they're doing and how they're working together. I think the number one value that I teach to my student athletes is respect. I think you have to have respect for yourself and who you are as a person and what you bring to the team. Um, respecting what you put in your body, respecting the kind of effort you're bringing. Um, I think you need to respect your coaching staff and what they are putting into you as an athlete. Respecting your teammates and the effort they're bringing, um, the officials, the game, and your opponents. And I think you have to demonstrate that every day when you're at practice or at a game. Words that uh, come to mind in describing the top athletes here at Country Day are competitive, pride, inspirational, unselfish, caring, confidence, dedicated, hard work, believing, tenacious, a little bit feisty, teamwork, I think humility, you know, being humble when you win and when you lose and, and uh, just that type of an attitude throughout the way you, you kind of handle yourself as an athlete at Country Day. On behalf of the students, the faculty, the parents, our alumni, and our board of trustees, I want to thank the Blue and Gold Club for their extraordinary leadership and dedication to the scholar-athlete you know, tradition of Detroit Country Day School. It's over three and a half decades ago that you know, the founders of the club, including Terry Barr, Sam Greenwald, uh, Richard Slagle, our former headmaster, and Gene Riley, our former athletic director, you know, decided that in a way to be able to support the scholar-athlete tradition, they would inaugurate this club. And since that time, uh, they've never looked back and have always supported you know, the students here at Detroit Country Day School at every level, you know, from our very youngest children all the way through you know, our seniors who are going on to college. So we are very blessed to have such dedicated you know, individuals who've come together you know, solely for the commitment and benefit of you know, our students. So thank you once again on behalf of all of us in the Country Day community. Uh, our tradition is alive and strong, and I thank you.